everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reacting to Killing Eve season three, episode four, titled Still Got It. We know Villanelle still got it. Maybe Dasha potentially is gonna be trying to kill somebody to prove she still got it. So the last episode was capital T-H-A-T, that episode. The last episode was the moment that we had all been waiting for for t over two years. And it was everything and also nothing as I expected it would be. Even Villanelle's first kiss happened. Confirmed, canon, whatever anyone had to say about this relationship, whether it was toxic, obviously. I don't understand why everyone is like saying that as if nobody already knows that it's a toxic relationship. They both tried to kill each other. I don't understand why that wasn't implied already. But regardless of what anyone wants to say, it is confirmed that Eve especially has some sort of sexual feelings, romantic sexual feelings towards Villanelle. That is confirmed. You're being a piece of shit, aren't you? However, that was not the only thing that happened in this episode, this past episode, even though it was the most important thing that happened in this past episode. We have sort of a team forming coming back together to, to kind of uncover Kenny's murder and who killed him and it obviously has to do with the 12, everything on this show does. But Carolyn and Eve have assembled a little crack team who are going to investigate, and they've come across a couple of promising leads. We thought that Carolyn was gonna get killed in the last episode by Villanelle, but it turns out she actually was assassinating the, uh, the 12's accountant. And the whole episode basically just confirmed that A, Eve is still attracted to, interested in, obsessed with Villanelle, and two, that the 12 are still pulling all the strings, and we don't really know what strings those are. Pretty much only Constantine knows at this point, because he is basically from the beginning been working both sides, and I don't know, I mad respect for Constantine, <laughs> because he's just been able to pull that off for a really long time. He seems, he seems like he isn't that much of a, of a badass, but I think truly he actually is like probably one of the smartest people in like the list of players that we have. But that's about all I got. My expectations are kind of low for this episode just because my expectations in terms of even Villanelle are kind of low for this episode and their interaction because we just had this huge momentous thing happen between them in the last episode. So it kind of would make sense to draw that out a little bit longer. So I have a feeling that they probably won't meet again until a couple episodes down the road. But you know, I've been wrong before, maybe not. So without any further ado, let's jump into episode four. The girls don't think you love you. Oh, they didn't even recap the kiss. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I see you. God! This is the last person I wanted to see start off this episode. Congrats, dude. You made it to freaking Poland. What does he have to do with the story anymore? The only purpose he ever served. Ew. If this whole episode is about him, I swear I'm leaving this universe. Sorry, I thought the show was called Killing Eve. And who's doing the killing? Villanelle, not Nico's Adventures in Poland. Oh, Dash is taking his phone. The colors, yas, that color palette. Oh, she's sleeping at the office, the bitter pill office. Why? Just do a little like graze of the, the lips in the memory. <laughs> Me. Me in quarantine. Would you like some of my Cocoa Pops? There you go. <laughs> Would you please ask before you take my Cocoa Pops? Oh, where did we get to with the money trap? That felt like whenever Villanelle was like, you can't stop in un un unannounced anymore to Constantine. And he was like, okay, may I come see you? What is that smell? I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> what's that? Something about something about the powder. No, no, no. What's that? Oh, the powder. She recognized the. You need to sign for this. Oh. She's always getting gifts from Villanelle. We stand. 
Oh, she thinks it's from Nico, maybe? Or she doesn't know who it's from, or she thinks it's from Villanelle. Is it your birthday? She doesn't know what to think. Hey, guys, it's Eve's birthday. Everyone's like, who the fuck is Eve? <laughs> How long has she been hanging out with these bitter pill the people? Cake. Gently, slowly. Oh, <laughs> she put a bus on there. Oh, don't like it. I don't like your gift. Take your gift back. Well, you know, everything she's ever given Eve has had like razor blades hidden in it, so I don't know. I don't blame her. Look, I can't have you camping out on the sofa. Oh, my sofa house. Why doesn't she have her yeah. apartment anymore? <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're moving in with this guy. Come sad teenager. Waiting for a like on Instagram. <laughs> it's pathetic. He is so savage. Fun. I promise you, whatever you've done is not half as bad as the stuff on my checker post. I know that's not true. Um, you have no idea. <laughs> you do not even know the half of it, my dude. You can do better than that. I kissed an assassin who tried to kill me and killed somebody my husband liked. <laughs> I was unfaithful to my husband. To my kid to the zoo when I was high on Kevin. I stabbed someone. GBH. I left. Wait, she was unfaithful to her husband with whom? Is she talking about Villanelle? Demand to die so I could save a psychopath. Do not think that you are the only self loathing asshole in the room ever. Oh, I wanted to hear about the choice is Eve. kiss. But she didn't bring it up, which means she didn't regret it. <laughs> On second thought, Maybe I do want to hang out with this bear. What do you want from me? <laughs> he was sending that to Eve? I thought he was done with her. I thought I deserved better than you. Fucking loser. <laughs> Sorry, I have no shame. This was in 1974. It was a suspected sporting rivalry. Like, so what's all this got to do with Kenny? It, it doesn't on the surface, but if you, if you take a look at the Catalan murder. Well, you know it's Villanelle. Okay, no. Similar. Our current assassin clearly copied this killer, which means our current assassin. Does she is she like unawares that it's Villanelle? This is over forty years ago. How are we supposed to find this person now? Eve. Pay attention. This is important. It's more important than him. Choices. It's all about choices. The bloody hell are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, the choice you're making is an incorrect one. <laughs> Oh, I forgot she was in London. I was like, how did she just get to Poland? <laughs> I forgot that in Europe you can like, just like walk to another, to another country basically. Writers gotta be out of their mind thinking that anyone cares about their relationship. Nico! I'm working for the Russian State Security Service area. That's a big deal. Do you think I'm a moron? It's not what you do. You might pretend to be working for the FSB, but you both know what you're really working for. Yourself. And it's only a matter of time before they all catch up with you. Anyway, Lay it out, girlfriend. Yes. You'll be dead. I want you to have a plan. I have a plan. <laughs> she takes no prisoners, this bitch. I love her. And she's right. She is very much correct because he has had his foot in both ponds for a long time now. It, it has some, some kind of file attached to it. I just have this feeling he was mixed up with something awful. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> ah, thank God. It only took 18 minutes into this episode to fucking get to Jodie Comer. My God. 18 minutes too long. <laughs> Not one of her better looks, but it's fine. Oh my God, she has a big bruise on her head. <laughs> wow. She's so cute. It is insane. So <laughs> You're right. So You're right. You are right. No, wait, wait. Just because it looks bad doesn't mean it tastes bad. Looks terrible. She's not much of a baker. She's on that hashtag failed baking fails train. Well, that was good. Did you do anything when you were there? Uh, mm. Um. I don't, I can't remember. 
<laughs> Can't remember. Don't recall. A Jack the Ripper walking tour. They gained valuable insight into Victorian gender politics. <laughs> but you have to play by the rules. She's kind of annoying in general. <laughs> I'm annoying. <laughs> she thinks I'm annoying. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who are you talking There's to? There's no one here. I'm just trying to save you from yourself. Do you need to discuss your new contract, holiday pay, benefits, etc. She's like, oh, hell yeah. I got that job. In the meantime, they want you to rest, conserve your strengths. It's about time she got her recognized for her excellent work. So. You're under house arrest. You're under quarantine. Eh? She's gonna buy some expensive gifts for Eve, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go somewhere we can talk. Somewhere relaxing. Why doesn't she just like be like, this man is assaulting me? The adorable psycho. The adorable psycho. Are you upset because what you shot her and ruined her marriage? Isn't that enough? The mustache is gone. <laughs> Villanelle is all of us. She's like excellent news. You can see her tiny little like. I got what you asked for. Evil hands rubbing together. Your family. Already. But I need you to do, do something, something for me. me. This is how you get yourself into Thank trouble. You. This is how you get yourself into trouble by doing things off the record. You're not gonna get promoted if you don't just follow the rules. Messy. Oh, it's the wife. Oh, it's the wife of the Kruger guy. No, no, Marie. It's it's too very raw, you know. It works. We were together for. Not that I shot him or anything, but you know, no big deal. Um, okay, let us pause there. And we'll get back to more Villanelle antics in part two.